We are broadcasting live from Providence, Rhode Island at the 2012 Effective Transitions in Adult Education Conference. And to over 275 people registered virtually and observing this uh, presentation online. We would like to thank the sponsors of the conference, the National College Transition Network at World Education, for hosting the conference. And a huge note of thanks to the U.S. Department of Education, Office of Vocational and Adult Education, for their sponsorship and participation in the webcast series. I'm Michelle Carson, Deputy Project Director for the U.S. Department of Education-funded DICP project, and I'll be your host today. Each webcast in the series focuses on a critical aspect of developing high-quality adult career pathways programs. The webcast highlights information about resources that can be found for free online at the ACP-SC website in online courses and in online courses around the same topic. This webcast and course in the series takes a look at the topic of developing effective bridge programs. I'd just like to take a moment to explain the question and answer session. For those of you in the audience, if you have a question to ask our panelists during the Q&A session, please jot your question down on the card you received when you entered the room, and someone from the webcast team will be around to pick up your questions and put them in the queue. And anyone can use your electronic devices and Twitter account uh, to tweet your questions using the Twitter hashtag for the webcast, which is hashtag create pathways. I'd like to begin today by introducing our panel of experts. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with Christopher Coro on my far left. Christopher Coro serves as the dire Deputy Director for the Division of Adult Education and Literacy at the U.S. Department of Education, Office of Vocational and Adult Education. He oversees the implementation of various research and technical assistance initiatives in the areas of adult reading, adult English language learning, English literacy and civics education, adult numeracy, career pathways, college readiness, and teacher quality. Prior to joining the U.S. Department of Education, Chris directed a large comprehensive adult education program at Northampton Community College in Eastern Pennsylvania and has 17 years of experience as a classroom teacher, 11 as at the secondary level and six as an ESL instructor. Next, I'd like to introduce Thomas Du Bois. Thomas has over 15 years of developing effective bridge programs and is director of new initiatives at the Instituto del Progreso Latino, a community-based organization in Chicago, Illinois. Thomas developed several workforce education programs, including an ESL program that bridges both manufacturing and healthcare with the city, city colleges of Chicago, and is most recently developing a green jobs bridge program administered by the National Council of La Raza through a Pathways Out of Poverty grant from the U.S. Department of Labor, Employment and Training Administration. In 2010, Tom served as a subject matter expert for the U.S. Department of Labor ETA's Career Pathways Technical Assistance Initiative and serves as an Aspen Institute Sector Academy Fellow and a member on the advisory board of the National Network for Sector Partners. With Institute staff, he succeeded in the leveraging and blending of both the Workforce Investment Act Title I and Title II funds, along with state, city, and local foundation support. Donald McCoy uh, retired from the IBM Corporation after 30 years of service with education in electrical engineering technology and responsibilities in project, process, program, and people management for a wide range of products and services. His corporate headquarter assignments included K college STEM initiatives and outreach programs designed to attract, develop, and retain underrepresented populations in the workplace. Today, Donald is a K college STEM education consultant and serves on the technical work group for the Design and Instruction for Career Pathways project, as well as the National Science Foundation Advanced Technology Education Program. He teaches and consults at institutions across North Carolina, including A&T State University's Engineering Academy and K-12 schools. Donald serves on multiple STEM-focused advisory boards and committees, including the Center for Occupational Research and Development and the North Carolina, University, North Carolina State University College of Engineering Minority Engineering Program 
and many others as well. I'd like you to join me in welcoming our panel of experts today.